Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Link. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I've made my way back to the sewers. Basic and from what I remember, there was two major orders of business here that I had left behind, and I now know the significance of that. And there was the spike run that was over this way. And there was the Land Molas, which I believe had another room beyond it. I just never got past the Land Molas to begin with. So, uh, actually before... I'm curious. There was... the fact that there is a door... The fact that there was a door down there made me wonder if there was a bomb spot here, but no. Because that's a little conspicuous. But, now that I have a bit more health on hand, and I can just tank my way through the spikes, I could just make it through here quickly and easily. Though I am just gonna let let the poison wear itself out. There we go. And all that furky. And I did. I did see where a locked door was, so at least I have the means of doing that now. And with the blue ring and the additional health on hand, I'm not as concerned about dying at the moment. Uh... Was there... I know I had gotten the key or something here, but I... I just want to check to see if there was another path this way. No, there wasn't. Okay. Or at least nothing that I have access to, anyway. Now that that's done, now I just gotta take the long way back to pretty much the start. Because there's really no good way out of here. Uh, so in order to investigate that one locked door, I pretty much got to go all the way back to the start, and as such, I might as well just go ahead and heal and save along the way. And after that, then I'll look into what might be beyond the Land Mola, and I assume that's where I'll be getting my second heart container from, from this place. Because two blue Land Molas is significant enough that it might be worth that. And considering that that it continues on from there, makes me think that might be uh, like the second segment of the dungeon, where the enemy upgrades come in, that we like we've seen in some of these other places. And so the locked door is up this way. Haha! -ha! So the the level two sword isn't enough, but the silver arrows are good. Good to know. And 
And now that I know that the... Oh, hello. Okay, now we got... Red Land Molas too. Okay. Uh... But considering how I found the map and compass... In the previous dungeons... Oh. Now I'm now I'm just wondering where the dang map is, but I know better than to go up from that direction, because that would just take me right back to the spike room again. All right. So, what do we have going this way besides a whole bunch of stuff that want to hurt me? Right, yep, I had hit that switch. And now I don't have to worry about the stupid like likes anymore because I have the mirror shield now. Uh... Definitely at... Oh! This leads here! Um, okay. Alright. Cool. Um, okay. What that That's an interesting way for dungeons to intersect. Okay. And that all leads to that. Uh huh. Well. Okay. Well, that that opens that up. Cool. That that is an interesting path there. Cause I know we had seen the tunnel segments in the other uh within the sewers. Nothing like that though. Unfortunately, there is... No... Good... No real convenient way out of here. Which means I just have to... Just work my way back. Okay, I was... I was about to ask if these guys dropped health. Very, very much, yes. Alright, so that was good progress. And knowing that those guys drop magic is good information. And suddenly a lot of these enemies are a bit easier now that I'm not at risk of dying to darn near everything. Okay. So before I investigate that path, now that I have access to it, there is this one that I because there was the blue land molas. And now I'm wondering what is over here. See if the blue land molas were actually uh are actually uh 
boss worthy enough to give me a heart container. Oh! It wasn't just blues, it was a whole bunch of things. Okay, I forgot about that. And it was not. Okay, uh, but... This looks significant. In I shouldn't even even try it because it was at the top of the map, but oh well. Okay. And that portal led me back to here. Which I don't remember where here went. But now I'm thinking that too. Uh, those couple gaps in the map, I'm thinking that's probably might have might have been where the map was. But that did lead to a that whole thing did lead to a switch, which makes me glad I did that first. I do have to be careful about my bomb usage now, cause. Still, nothing has been dropping bombs so far in this place. Oh, not that way. But now I can go up this way. And let's see what we got here. I was holding up the whole time, so there is no path there. Uh, okay, so I had not been that way to, to, to the room down from here. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, this is just straight up the enemy upgrades, huh? Lovely. And this looks familiar. So, I was wondering about these little paths. Huh. Okay, then. Wait, is that actually Yeah, that that is a That is a neat little detail. Uh Alright, let's uh -huh. Map Yes, thank you. And I know better than to go down. And... Ooh! Aha! Okay! This is significant! For a number of different reasons. Because I know there's some stuff on the overworld that I can do with this. It'll also make navigating this area a heck of a lot simpler certain spots. Now, it's just a matter of figuring out where I'm going from here, and I can already see 
that I've already explored everything in this area. So yeah, at this point, I just have to find... Now that I have the map, I just have to go find an area that I haven't been to yet. And I can see a couple things that I likely only had access to because I now have the flipper. This was... Uh, th wait, no, 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 never mind. That, that was the way to the land molas. That was the way to that switch. Though it's shown there's a path down. Did I just never... Okay, that's... never mind. Didn't realize that locked me in. Okay, uh... Wait, did I see... Aha! This is new. And I need the hammer for this, so it appears this is where I'll be getting that. is the way out. And it is very much one way as well. Good to know. Well, I do know uh, those whirlpools are a little bit hard to spot. Ow. I found about the the other heart container boss or mini boss whatever thank you and that leads me pretty much back to the start you know what that's fine that is fine I was kind of worried about my health for a bit Whew. good I am feeling good Ah. 
one downside to having drained the water already. That's that path isn't an option now. Uh, thing is, I'm gonna have to watch for where the whirlpools are because I really haven't been noticing that. They blend in well enough with the rest of the water that I'm not the easiest thing to spot. Uh, okay. Looks like there is another path up in the there's something in the corner that I hadn't seen yet. Aha. Oh, of course, you guys can drop health. You just weren't. These guys are tanky. Wow. And okay, I can't go anywhere in this path without the hammer. On some level, I'm kind of glad I didn't ex find this area until now, because the bomb tube analogs here would, would have utterly destroyed me. Ah. Finding the switch before I needed to find, before I needed what the switch led to. Good. Uh, Red levers around money shouldn't shouldn't be an issue, or I guess more to the point, arrows shouldn't be an issue. Uh, what is over here? Things continue from there. So what was over this way? I assume I can't push those blocks. Ooh, hello. Key. And a switch. That will likely lead to the hammer at some point. Good. Uh, might as well see where this goes. Okay. That is fine. Because it's a convenient spot to go back and save. Uh, 
Okay. So I think I had been... Aside from those two rooms that I'm wondering about, which I think that might have been locked behind the hammer. And now I'm thinking that one treasure chest probably has the boss key in it. So now I'm more free. I'm free to check the other path now. Let's see what kind of stuff we got there. Though it kind of sucks that I'm kind of stuck with a slower walking speed down here. I mean, it does it makes sense, but it's still kind of sort of annoying. Definitely don't want to get up close and personal with those things. So does this lead directly to... Oh, jeez, there was more of them. And I actually... Uh, now that the thought occurs to me, I think I figured out what that one green ring did. It's basically the book, in that it gives... adds fire to, want, to my wand shots. At least I'm convinced of that, because I don't remember it doing that before I got the ring. I could be wrong, but that's the best. Good lord, why do you have so much health? Oh, things continue onward. Though I am inclined to think that the... Well, I know that the... Hammer would be in this general direction. So, let's go check that out. Give me that! Nice. Weapon upgrade! I somehow doubt it'll do that much good against the blue leaf, the, uh, the crabs, but... It's a nice thing. What is over here that is a way out that I don't necessarily want right now. But I do remember seeing the hammer barrier up, up this way. I see what that did to my health. Oh boy. Uh, no. Uh, okay, okay, I feel like checking this way now. Aha! Very 
nice! Very nice. Yep, Temple of Fire. All oh, right, those. The, did I see everything here? No. No, I did not. But I think those other rooms that I'm seeing now are just the way to the boss, I think. But now, now that I have the flippers, getting out of there is quick and easy. And now that I have the hammer, there's a good bit of stuff I could look into on the overworld as well. And for everything that I've seen so far, I haven't actually seen the boss door yet. Uh, alright then. Um, so yeah, I think... I might go through that one path that I'm convinced will take me to the boss key. And after that, given how some of these enemies are, I th I think I might it might be a bit a good idea to try to shoot for that uh the red ring and the sword upgrade, which I am convinced that the next sword upgrade will be at 11 hearts just because of the pattern we had seen. And by getting the last item in the barracks, I should be able to get the red ring now. Which is, you know, kind of important. And at least through the sewers, I have a good way of getting to the Temple of Fire quickly. And there was that, there's the, the hedge maze that required the hammer. There was one whirlpool in the overworld on the eastern side. There's stuff I could be doing right about now. So, I guess until next time, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.